welcome back to my team career mode. We had the Miami Grand Prix today, the first time we're going to this racetrack. And it's going to be good. Last time out, what happened last time out? Oh yeah, my own stupidity struck last time out. I don't know why the music disappeared. There we go, the, the music's back. I don't know why it disappeared there for a second. I DNF through my own stupidity of having the wrong internal combustion engine in. That was my bad. Um, so yeah, gonna have to do this. It's my own stupidity. I can't really say anything else about it. We can't really do anything on upgrades yet on the aero. Still waiting for things to come in on the chassis as well. And on the engine, we actually don't have anything coming in. So we can do something there. The most logical one would be, would be the spark plugs. And we are gonna do that. It'll come in for Spain, hopefully. But I mean, knowing when my luck, it'll probably fail. And because durability is a nightmare, gonna do that ICE um, upgrade on the durability as well. Because God knows that is, durability has been a nightmare. You know, it's been an absolute nightmare so far. As I said, the durability, the wear on the ICE will now be lower than it was before. So that's gonna be good after that update came in while I was recording the last episode. Um, I also changed up the um, the suit and the gloves for um, for my team here. So just kind of. Doing that, this one got it from a, in the in the store. I think it was on the game. I saw. I liked it. I think it, it's kind of the same style that matches my car, the car livery I chose anyway. But I mean, this is just all for season one anyway. We all know season two. I'm gonna be freaking go taken to Photoshop because while this while this livery editor has improved, it still needs it still has a ways to go. It still does not beat Photoshop. It's both um upgrades. We'll on the aerodynamics do come in, thankfully, where it kind of frees us up to do more upgrades. Well, we could do more upgrades, um, but I'm thinking maybe wait. Maybe be a little bit patient. We could be a bit patient on this one, because the arrow's a lot higher than the... The arrow's a lot higher than the chassis is, in terms of how crappy it is. Um, so I think it'll be more worth our while just waiting, saving points for more be for better chassis upgrades. Because that still has a ways to go. It, you can see it's the smallest piece of the pie. Um, so just save our R&D points for that. And, you know, it's something that we kind of want to see come into this game. The budget cap kind of thing. Come into this game. That'll be kind of... It would be annoying, but it would be cool. It would be, it would be kind of more like IRL. But I'm going to talk about that in another video. Um, I'm just gonna skip the Pirelli hot lap thing this time. I, to be honest, I just didn't want to do it. I know it is good to do, it gets more acclaim, more money, but I, this time I just didn't fancy doing it. So we're gonna head straight on into qualifying here. I forgot to show the R&D chart. Um, sorry, I cut it out. I'll put an image of it on the screen now. Um, of what the R&D chart looks like as we head into this race we can Start off our first qualifying lap here in Q1. As we go horribly deep at turn one and then instantly loop it around. That is not the way to start a qualifying session. But I mean, I suppose if you're gonna spin, do it on the first lap if Verstappen goes by us and we get back underway. Uh, that's that lap bend. Um, but we can go again and we will go again on this set of tires when we get back around. Now we're back around into turn one, more tight to the apex this time around as an Aston Martin comes down the pit lane. And obviously we're going to be up on time. We were stopped dead for like 12 seconds, 12, 13 seconds. We were stopped dead on the track. Um, so of course we're going to be gaining time to try and just find a rhythm. I should point out, I did no practice immediately before doing this qualifying session or race. I did a bit of practice on Miami, of course, a couple days ago. Um, but prior to doing this rate qualifying session and race, I had not done any practice. So just a warning. Um, and you know, there's long straights here. So AI in a straight line. You know the way it goes with them. Um, but rounding out the end of sector two, six and a half tenths up on Vettel's time in P9. We're in P11, no representative time on the board yet. That 145.5, definitely we can go quicker than that. We will go quicker than that. We cross the line to go P9 with a 131.3. Um, and we're going to go again right at the end of the session. We're already two tenths up and we're getting a better run through this first sector. Which you very much, you just try and keep the speed up as much as you can. Try not lose too much speed as you head through. An exit there, it's important to get a good exit there because if you don't get a good exit, then you'll lose time all the way down the straight. You need to be uh, get a good exit, no wheel spin on the power as quick as you can. And then of course the DRS opens up here as we're going to make the run down into the braking zone for turn, whatever this is. 
Um, down to second gear, throw it into the corner slowly. I'm gonna hang it in around there, no, ignore that I completely cut the corner. Shut up. Y'all know me for- y'all know me and track limits. Um, but after horribly cutting the corner, we're about, we're about nine tenths up. So like, ignore that corner cut. Okay, we all know what I'm like with track limits. I'm shite with them. I'm shite with track limits. Um, but either way, almost a second up on her previous best. It's towards the end of session, so this has to count. Avatar in 17, through the kings of 18 and 19. Apparently we got rain on the way, that was not on the forecast. We got 12 quickest in the end of Q1 here. And we do, in the end, as Leclerc's quickest overall, no surprises there. Hamilton and Mercedes are improving. Um, we barely make it through by, we make it through by 10, by 10 milliseconds. 10 milliseconds is all we make it through by, Jesus Christ. Um, but kind of just weighing a little bit. There was no rain on the forecast, which is a, the kind of just weird thing. Um, we're yet to set a lap time in Q2, and unfortunately by the time we do, it is raining. Little bit unexpected. I'm gonna be honest, when I was doing this session, you, you, you heard Elvis say it rained about 15 minutes. I forgot about that. I completely went out of my mind. I didn't realize it was gonna start raining. Um, so that was a bit of a brain fart for me, because I forgot that Elvis said it was gonna start raining anyway. The weather reports in this game a little bit borky anyway. When it says 10, 15 minutes, it could be 5 minutes, it could be 20 minutes, it could be half an hour, it could not come at all. But there was no rain on the forecast, was my point. Um, but that does mean we're knocked out in Q2. Oscar is also knocked out, but not by- okay, I was gonna say not by much. He's knocked out by 9 tenths of a second. Um, but P11 is still a really good starting position for him. It shows our car is improving and he's improving. Um, you know, with all the races that go on, he'll get more experience in Formula 1 cars, in Formula 1. Sergio Perez knocked out as well, he got caught out by the rain, as did Schumacher, Ocon, Perez, Norris. I think Piastri was the last one who did not get caught out by the conditions. Uh, Ferrari 1-2 here in Qualify in Q2, I wouldn't be entirely surprised if it's a 1-2 in the, in the, in Q3 as well. Um, so we'll be starting P16 for the Miami Grand Prix. To be honest, better than we managed in Imola. That's the main thing. Hopefully we can move forward, but we do have to bear in mind it's a new track. So I might not, I might, I might be shit. But let's head to the grid and see what's gonna happen today. Welcome to the Miami International Autodrome, home of the Miami Grand Prix. This exciting track circumnavigates the Hard Rock Stadium, home to the National Football League outfit, the Miami Dolphins. A lap of the Miami Grand Prix features 3.36 miles of track around the Hard Rock Stadium, and 19 corners make up the Miami International Autodrome, which will challenge the drivers in a tight wheel-to-wheel -wheel race. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, and the smooth operator Carlos Sainz completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Russell, Fernando Alonso, and Bottas, Magnussen, Sonoda, Ricardo, and Oscar Piastri, Norris, Perez, Mick Schumacher, and Hamilton. They've taken a grid penalty. Ocon, the owner driver. Guan Yu Zhou and Alex Albon. Stroll, Vettel, Latifi, and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. It's just about time to go down to the track for the beginning of the race, but before we do, Anthony Davidson, what types of strategy do you think we can expect for today's event? Well, there's a lot that both the driver and the team have to keep in mind when going into a race. The tires, fuel, energy recovery systems, the list goes on and on. But I think the key to today's victory will come down to the pit stop strategy. Come in too soon and you might find yourself needing more than one stop. Too late and you're putting yourself at a disadvantage by spending longer on worn tires. Well, cheers, lads. I see. Does Elvis not talk? Or Mark, or whatever you call him. I call him Elvis. Um, does he just not talk at the start of my team races now? Is that a thing? Uh, don't mind me as I put something back on a hook. Um, but strategy. I do not want to start this race on medium tires. I fancy the soft compound tires. 
Um, because why the F not? Because I can and I want to. And that is exactly what we're going to start this Grand Prix on. As we head to the grid now and we're going to start off the formation lap. The formation lap gets underway and every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead. Making sure that their car is ready for the battle once the lights go out. Well, shock horror, everybody else is on the medium tires as the Ferrari front row locker at Lewis Hamilton taking grid penalties. From having qualified fourth with promotes Fernando Alonso up to a very good P5 ahead of Baltas and Magnussen. So as all the cars reform the grid, the drivers will be hoping to get a strong start. They'll want to earn some valuable points from today's race, with final communications being done with their race engineers, ensuring the planned strategies are all in place. What was it? What's AWS been smoking with that two-stop strategy? What have they been smoking? This is not a two-stop race. It's not. It's a one-stop unless there's a late race safety car and there's a gap to go and stick on a different set of tires. I, 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 did, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Hopefully the soft tires can be beneficial off the start for us. So long as we get a good start. As we just wait for Pierre Gasly to pull into his grid slot in 22nd place. Uh, the Frenchman not having a very good qualifying. He's parked up. The five lights are going to be on ahead of us here in the Miami International Autodrome. They're out, and for the first time we're racing in Miami. As usual, it's a shite start from us, as I do not know how to do starts on this game. Is in downwards, indoors, turn one. We're going to be four wide for a minute there, with the Aston Martin and the Williams on the inside of an, Al of an Alpine. As um, Alcon just gets back ahead of us, we're just ahead of Lance Stroll, who's uh, under pressure of his teammate. Um, as up the road, Verstappen's lost a couple places, he's lost a place to George Russell. As it's all single file as we're heading through sector one at the moment, except for the two Aston Martin events on our head of stroll. As they've been doing battle over just 18th place as Charles Leclerc leads away from Carlos Sainz, George Russell, Max Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Valtteri Bottas, Kevin Magnussen, Daniel Ricciardo, Yuki Snowden, Oscar Piazza, a teammate running in 10th place ahead of Lando Norris and Sergio Perez up a place after starring P13 is in P12 looking maybe to get past Lando down into the turn here. No, he's not. He's gone in. He's crashed. As we go through our teammates. That could have been bad. That could have been close to the virtual safety car. Is now being deployed for Sergio Perez crashing out into the back of... Was that an Alpha Tower he went into the back of? I don't know. We're looking to still be in this race. That's all I know. What happened to Perez? He was going to go for a move on Lando. Then just outbroke himself and went into the back of Sonoda. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. He tore also Alpha Tower ruining the senior team's day. And we got so lucky Oscar ghosted there. We got so lucky he ghosted. As the VSC is ending and we've absolutely nailed that. The VSC, we got timed that ending to perfection as we were immediately jumping on Norris. We're going to look to go for this move on the Brit. Down into the tur into the next turn here. I don't know the, num the number of the corner. We go down the other side. Lovely move from us. Schumacher has got past Joe. Meanwhile, he's looking at Norris. Um, can he get that move done? Maybe he might be having a look at getting that move done before too long. We're going to have to keep an eye on that one. To see if he's gonna go for the move. It's all plain sailing further up the road. Well, Leclerc already outside of a second of um, his teammate Carlos Sainz Hamilton is gonna go for on Piastri. Meanwhile, this is for the final points playing position. That is a lovely move from Hamilton. Jesus, what a move from the seven time world champion. It was on our teammate, yes, which is unfortunate, but what a move from him. What an honestly, I can watch, I can watch an overtake like that over and over, honestly. Um, but we're going to be looking to follow Lewis through. Maybe looking for a move on our teammate. Okay, Hopefully looking for a move. We are gaining on him, uh, which is surprising because AI in a straight line. Um, but are we going to be close enough? We're going to dive it down the inside into 17. Not going to make it. He's going to switch back us and stay ahead. We definitely outbroke ourselves there. Um, as now we've got Norris and Schumacher right behind us as we continue onwards onto the main straight, onto lap four now. They're side by side in the McLaren and the Haas binders, but not going to challenge us. They're going to be too busy fighting with themselves. And Schumacher ran the outside, inside for two, gets the move done, up into 13th place for the for the young German ahead of uh, Lando Norris in the McLaren. As there goes Max Verstappen on Carlos Sainz. The, the Red Bull trying to get past the Ferrari, trying to split the two Ferrari cars, make them have not quite as much of an advantage over Red Bull at the moment. As meanwhile, we're going to look for the move to, on our teammate who locks up. Piastri locks up, goes a bit deep. Schumacher's going to get past him as well. 
Oh, do we make our way up into P11? Piastri, can he hold on ahead of Schumacher? Will Schumacher get the move done? This is all blazing go side by side, lads! And Piastri manages to hold on. You do not, do not normally see cars side by side there. And uh, Max Verstappen is now going to look at coming back at Carlos Sainz. Now down into 17, he's going to try hanging in around the outside. Can he quite get it done? Not quite. He can't get it completely finished off. But Sainz is going to be able to come back at him now with the DRS down the main straight onwards to lap number five. Sainz will be on the outside for turn one, which we've seen work as a better line for our attacking. And I think it might just work out here again as Sainz swoops around the outside at three and keeps all a hold of second place in this race. He's followed the three and a half seconds by his teammate, but he's still a Ferrari 1-2 as things stand at this present moment in time. Um, what would, would something they failed to do in Emola last time out, of course, when Sainz had that unfortunate engine failure. Um, unfortunate for him, but what's more on what Sainz will be more focused on right now is uh, Max Verstappen looking again to get past him. He's looking at the outside, maybe a little bit of contact. I see a little bit of collision box fuckery as well. But he wasn't quite able to get that move done. Back with ourselves, Schumacher is going to breeze past us on the mate on the back straight here. No way we could defend that one. Um, the DRS just too powerful and the AI too powerful in a straight line. To be honest, I got a bit pissed off with AI this race. As there is Sonoda under pressure from Hamilton over ninth place in this race currently. I think Hamilton's going to have this move into turn one before the braking zone even arrives. He does. Lewis Hamilton up in, the, up in the ninth place after starting in P14 with engine penalties. And there is Piastri overtaken by Lando Norris, who's soon going to be hunting us down and trying to get by us before too long. Because we do not have DRS on McSchumacher. He's very much checked out and can chase after Yuki Tsunoda for P10. Norris is looking to go for it already through here. As we go horribly deep and wide, we keep it on the racetrack until we don't. Ignore the fact I cut another corner. The, I never even got a warning for that. The game saw absolutely nothing. We're holding on for the time being, but not for much longer. Norris, I think he's gonna be pious by the time we get to turn 11. Um, because he is right on our friggin' tail. He's right on our gearbox and he's gonna have the DRS. He's got the DRS, the rear wing is open for him. And he's going to be looking down the inside into turn whatever this is, 12. He gets the move done. We nearly crash into his rear end there. Um, but he's got that move done. Again, AI straight line. AI straight line. And I was not comfortable down into that corner as well. As Alcon's looking at Joe. Joe's looking at Piastri. Alcon's going to go down the inside of both of them. If he can make this stick, it's going to be a mega overtake from the Frenchman. Can he go for the, Can he go for two for one here? He can't quite get it done. I think Piastri is going to hold on to that for the time being. Um, he will hold on to it. Someone's knocked the bollard over, and that someone is probably me. Um, I saw the bollard knocked over there, that chicane. Um, but anyway, back to this. Piastri is going to be under pressure once again. Alcon, I think, is going to be by him. By the time we get, but by the time they get to turn 17. Um, I think Piastri is going to be in P15. He is in P15. Alcon's up into P14. And is now free to all. Chase after us. Um, and chase after us. He certainly freaking did. You can see him in the mirrors. Gaining, gaining. You can see him breathing past in a straight line. Jesus Christ, man. That car, that AI straight line, I'm telling you, is way too powerful. But we're going to be coming into the pit lane at the end of his lap anyway. Um, so no biggie, no too bad. We're gonna, we were gonna be boxing anyway. Um, as we just about get it slowed down for the pit lane. Okay, I say just about, we were about 20k under it. Um, but we're in the pit lane now. See if we can nail the turret in. I have nailed it, I've got it good, I've got it not good. Um, but this time around, we absolutely nailed the turret in time. And it is a beautiful 2.3 second pit stop. Um, as, uh, if you're wondering why Elvis isn't saying anything, I told him to shut up. I was get, I just got a bit annoyed at this race, to be honest, because of the AI in a straight line being way too good, and the fact I was never comfortable in the turn 12, I think it is. The, 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 the turn at the end of the, um, DRS curve, I'm gonna call it. You know, we're seeing the AI go down on the, on the map right now. I was not comfortable uh, down into this corner coming up here. I was not comfortable as Vettel's. Going for Piastri. Down in the inside, he gets the move done. That corner. I was not comfortable at all into that corner. Every time, half the time when I went, tried to go through there, I ended up spinning. Um, and then, you know, flashbacking, because who doesn't flashback for a tiny spin? Just Gasly looking to go past her teammate, but Piastri's gonna try and hold on on this one. 
He's not quite going to be able to. He's going to have the DRS, mind you. I think. Um, he does have the DRS, but can he get back at him? Probably not. Uh, but Lewis Hamilton around the tail of Daniel Ricciardo. He's going for the move on the Australian. But Ricciardo ain't going to give this one up too easily. He's not going to give it up as easily as our teammate did. But Ricciardo does get overtaken. And Hamilton up into seventh place. Um, he's trying to carve his way through this. He's carving his way through this traffic rather nicely. Ricardo running a lot better here than he did IRL. As it's Leclerc leading by 7 seconds to Carlos Sainz. Max Verstappen is still in third. I wonder if we're going to see any pit stops now. Yes, we are. The race leader is in. Charles boxes. Carlos will take over the lead of the race. He's going to go one lap longer as the... Well, Carlos is the lead... Uh, Charles is the leading car. Has priority the box first. He pulls into his pit box. What kind of a stop is it? It's a little bit sluggish. Red Bull are coming out for Max Verstappen. Mercedes are going to be coming out for someone who I assume will be Lewis Hamilton because George Russell has continued on. It's a sedated pit stop from Red Bull as well. Alpine are in for Alonso. Hamilton's coming in. The first pit stops are here and the lead drivers are into the damn pit lane. You can always tell who's going to stop first unless one of the cars is out of the race. You know, you can always tell who's going to stop first on the team. Unless they're on completely different strategies, that is. Um, Haas are in as well. I believe our teammate could be coming in as well. So Verstappen's come out the pit lane with Sonoda. That's, he was battling Sonoda there. That is not going to help him out whatsoever. That is going to have slowed him down, I think, quite a bit. I would imagine. That's going to be... He might lose... He was, I was, he was having to battle Sonoda. On the pit exit, so he's gonna must have lost time. Um, as he's our teammate into the pit lane, can we gain any places? Can we stay? Can we be ahead of Gasly? I think we should be able to be. Um, it's close, but we are ahead, and Gasly is gonna have stone cold tires, so we can use that to our advantage to get the foot down through this first sector. As yeah, I know my teammate's been in the pit lane. Oscar's yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been in for his stop, Elvis. Shut up. As um, we're able to break the one second barrier in um, getting ahead of Ga being ahead of Gasly. So that's good. We're ahead as Carlos Sainz, the new race leader, into the pit lane. George Russell follows him in. Leclerc is going to take over back at the lead of the Grand Prix as he's led pretty much every other lap. They both pull in. We can see both pit stops from Mercedes. Mercedes has a better pit stop than Ferrari. Ferrari, again, another slow, sedated pit stop from them. Leclerc takes back the lead of the Grand Prix. Can Sainz be ahead of Verstappen? Verstappen out the final corner, onto the main straight now. Sainz is getting his foot down. There is Max Verstappen. George Russell is right behind Carlos Sainz. Sainz back out into the Grand Prix in second place. George Russell right behind him. Max Verstappen has lost a position to Russell. As we've got Daniel Ricciardo parked up out turn 16. What has happened to Daniel? He was running so good. And now he's parked up and now the safety car is out! I don't believe this! Carlos Sainz will not be happy, for one thing. Because he's just boxed, and he could have potentially been ahead of his teammate had that safety car come out a bit earlier. Um, potentially he could have been ahead of his teammate, I don't know. He could have had a good chance of maybe being ahead, if not a lot closer. He could have been either ahead or a lot closer, but this with Daniel. Trigger happy on the throttle, he's lucky he didn't. Did he break something on his wing? I wouldn't be totally surprised if he got wing damage from that. Because he did clap the barrier. He was lucky to not like break his suspension or anything. He was trying to turn it around, get out of the grass, and then he just stopped. Pfft. Daniel, you can't park there, mate. You cannot park it there. We went by, you saw that ghastly part of The AI didn't know how to handle it. And so they just parked it. But now the safety car is going to be ending here at the end of lap 19. The pack has been closed back up. Once again, and it's synchronized weaving for the two Ferraris um, further up the field. We've got control back of this car. We're just waiting for the safety car to peel off into the pit lane, waiting for Bart Mylander to drag that Mercedes safety car back into the pit lane. Why are you still out? You're meant to go into the pit lane. The safety car was it was meant to go in. It's still out. I'm game of the year, lads. Game of the year. This game is an absolute flawless masterpiece. That There's no issues with this game whatsoever. The safety car was meant to come into the pit lane. It said it was coming in at the end of the lap. At the end of lap 19. I'm assuming that's what it meant, but now it's come. It's still out. I am so lost. I am so lost. But hopefully it'll be coming in this. There we go, we see it in the pit lane now. The safety bar has finally found the pit lane. As Even though the safety car is in, we can't overtake it, which is really annoying. 
because you can't overtake until you get to the line, we could have gained a lot of places here. <clears throat> but unfortunately, we were, we were stuck behind. We're still in P14, sadly. Um, but either way, we're back racing once again here at, um, I almost said Spa, Miami. Miami International Autodrome is what it is. We're racing back once again. And no carnage on the restart. Could have got a better restart, mind you. Although if you could overtake before the line, I could have been past quite a few cars. But that's just, that's just a standard rule in Formula 1. At the end of a stage car period, you can't overtake till you get to the line. We were not at the line and we now have to worry about Nichols Latifi squeezing his way by on the outside. Um, but we're going to send it back down the inside to try and hold on to our position. To try and defend P14. <clears throat> And thankfully we didn't manage to do so, sorry for taking a drink there. Um, and he's gonna be still not leaving us alone though. He is not leaving us alone. Um, which is slightly annoying. But what can you do? You can't do anything except just roll with the punches. And this is what we've got right now, is now Alex Albon round until he got by his teammate on this lap. Um, there's a little bit of lag coming through, because of course there is. Um, and now Albon, he is, he is very eager to get by us. And now in fact Latifi might be getting involved as well. We've got one Will we're sandwiched between the two Williams cars. We go into turn one, we go a little bit deep into the corner, but that gives us a really good line. I, we did not exceed the track limits game, shut up. Uh, but we managed to hold on ahead of both of them and hold on to 14th place. Hopefully that should be them at bay for the time being. I'm genuinely hoping, but I'm not overly confident because Albon is still there. He's still there and he's looking to the inside line. We're going to try and hang it in around the outside here to try and sit, keep our position. This is brilliant racing. It's a lot of fun as we do hold on to the position. This is basically what we're fighting for at the moment. P14. It's unfortunate, but it's the way it is. As Lewis Hamilton is under pressure from Kevin Magnussen. No, not sorry. Yeah, from Mick Schumacher, sorry. Down into turn 11, 12, whatever turn it is. Can Hamilton hold on on the inside for this long right-hander? I think he's just going to hold on here. Um, as Max Verstappen, is he... Uh, Alonso gets past Verstappen. Is he slow? Max Verstappen is slow. What's happened to him? What's happened to Max Verstappen? He's slowed right down. Does he have an engine failure? Is there a problem? There's a puncture. Max Verstappen is a... I have never seen this. The, I've never seen the AI get a puncture. I have never seen an AI get a random puncture. Charles Leclerc leads the way his title rival, Max Verstappen, tumbles out of the point with a puncture. Ferrari 1-2, Russell's third. There's Alcon and Norris battling it out over not over eighth place, sorry. Um, Norris is going to have the DRS come back at Norris down the main street. I do not believe this. I've never seen an AI just get a random puncture. Pardon me, he just, he must have got it when he was going through that chicane. Pardon me, I didn't know, did he run over debris? Did he run over, is there a peep? I wonder if he maybe ran over, a, okay, we don't see debris like that normally on the racetrack as Alcon and Norris are still going at it. Alcon's going to get that position. Um, he's going to get eighth place. We don't see debris really on the racetrack, but I wonder if it was maybe, he, I wonder. Because that's where Daniel hit the wall. I wonder if he maybe ran over a piece of Ricardo's front wing. Because I don't know if Dan Daniel's clearly been into the pit lane again. I wonder if he maybe, maybe had got wing damage from hitting the wall. And Max ran over it. A piece of it that the marshals didn't get. Uh, maybe that's what it was. Either that or he was just being way too hard on his tires. I don't know. Nightmare for Red Bull. Delight for Ferrari. Well, Red Bull suffer a double non-point score. One car out on the opening lap. One car... A puncture on the penultimate lap. Ferrari are coming home for a 1-2 finish as Charles Leclerc at the final corner across the line to win the Miami Grand Prix. From pole position, did what he couldn't do um, a couple months ago. And lead home a Ferrari 1-2. Ferrari converted a 1-2 on track to a 1-2 on the on the finishing time sheet. And it's signed second and George Russell rounds out the podium in third. Meanwhile, with us, we're still having to defend against Alex Albon parking in the middle of the road, going a little bit deep, though. That's going to give Albon all the chance in the world to try and get by us. He's just going to get ahead of us. We damage our front wing on his rear tire, and Albon will just hold on and get P13. Well, it's going to be P14 for us. Unfortunate, but that's racing sometimes. Not been a great race. 
but that's that's racing you know that is racing sometimes as hamilton i would agree with that you know i'm not too sure where he finished i think it was like p8 or something but good recovery from him they've done it then a truly magnificent win here at the miami international autodrome so anthony what made the difference out there today well they certainly stood out as a drive with tons of confidence on the track I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari, do it again. do indeed do it again crafty yes they get another one to their second one to finish of the season they are very much on a roll and well Charles Leclerc he is now four out of five for race wins this season and I'm almost certain he's also four out of five on pole positions he had pole in Bahrain he had pole in Australia pole in Imola and pole in Miami he is he is on form he is the man to beat at the moment while Red Bull have a disastrous race that now sees Max Verstappen fall to 46 points behind Leclerc in the championship. And Perez out of the points, not a good day. There's gonna be what there is gonna be a lot of talking down at Red Bull this evening. And I would I would pay to be at the Red Bull debrief after this one, honestly. You know, it's still early, it's still the early stage of the season. Max can come back from this, but he needs to start putting in some performances, you know. Uh, to quote Leclerc from uh, from what he said after Silverstone, you know, two wins and it's done. But seriously, it's going to take more than that. Red Bull, 84 points behind Ferrari and the Constructors. But Jesus Christ. This is all kind of reverse to what it is in real life right now. Here, it's Leclerc and, and Ferrari running away with it. In real life, Verstappen and Red Bull kind of ran away with it because Ferrari had issues. And here, it's Red Bull who've had issues. Either way, I was going to be off to Spain next time out. Where is my mouse? There is my mouse. Going to be off to Barcelona next time out. A track I, that we do know, but one I've never been that brilliant at and will never admit to being brilliant at. And also one that has a new corner. So it's kind of, it's like new except for one. It's the same except for one corner, which is new. But either way, going to leave this one here. So for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all those stuff. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.